Welcome back to the Dude's Kitchen. This is the Angela's Kitchen with me, Angela Munson, Michael Ford's daughter. Today we're going to do an easy recipe. It's a smoothie bowl, but a protein packed, vegetable packed, fruit packed smoothie bowl. Your kids won't even notice that it's filled with dense nutrition that will help them stay full throughout the day. So let's get started. So what you'll need for this base of it is a blender. I have this Ninja blender. Isn't it uh, so pretty? The dishwasher didn't, the dishwasher lady didn't come this week, so it's a little dirty. So it doesn't matter how you add any of these ingredients in here, and you can play around with this, add ingredients that you like, and make it yours. So first thing, we have frozen spinach. This is a cup of frozen spinach. Not even gonna taste it. And because we're adding fruit to it, it's not gonna have that green color. Second thing we're gonna add is a cup of frozen strawberries. And then one packet of an acai packet. You can find these in the frozen section of most grocery stores. And the best thing to do for it is run it under hot water, both sides for three seconds, and then cut off the top and dump it in. Now we have 12 ounces of, this is oat milk, but you can use almond milk or water or even milk if you choose. Finally, we have our protein. This is a superfoods packed protein, but you can use any chocolate protein or any flavor protein of your choice. And now we get to blend it. So don't forget your lid so it doesn't go everywhere because as a busy mom, you don't need even more of a mess. So now we have it on the blender. So mine, you push power and medium, and I'm gonna have this go for about a minute to a minute and a half. You have a go to whatever consistency you like. I just like mine very creamy. All right, so it's been about 45 seconds. I did add about half a cup of water to it because the 12 ounces just wasn't enough. But I'm gonna go in and scrape down the sides. You guys, this is gonna be very thick, but if you've had a smoothie bowl, you know that smoothie bowls are pretty thick and they don't take, they do take a little bit of work to make at the beginning. And start it again. Okay, now I've got the consistency that I want. So I'm just going to remove it. Get this big guy out of the way. I like to take the lid off and then take out this. So as you can see, that is a pretty good consistency that I can mold into basically whatever I want. Okay, so we do have to drag it out. And I'm just using a spatula. And don't be afraid to get it on you a little. It happens. Okay. So now I'm just going to smooth it across the top so that we can add our toppings to it. You can add whatever toppings you like to this. I prefer soft granola, coconut shreds, chocolate chips, banana, and strawberries. So you just kinda do what you want with it, make it look pretty however you choose. This is one full banana. The rest of it, I didn't actually measure it out. I just kinda eyeballed it. Um, so you can do whatever sizes you, serving sizes you'd like on this. Strawberries on the side. Chocolate chips on top. That is a lot of chocolate chips, but it makes it delicious. Lastly, but not, wait, what's the, what's the phrase? Last but not least. Who is that? Hi, that one. Last but not least, peanut butter. This is my favorite part. I literally take my spoon, get a couple teaspoons, and there you have it. Very easy smoothie bowl. This is amazing. So good. You can find all the recipes in my videos below. You can also please follow me at The Lunchologist. It is a new Instagram page that I am launching where these recipes and more easy quick recipes for the busy mom or busy person you can go and find kid approved, husband approved, and sometimes dog approved food. 
Thanks for watching. See you next time.